Hi YouTube. Hey, I'm going to do a review here on the Fish Pond Flathead Sling Bag. It just came out this year and, you know, while Fish Pond does a great job kind of showing you what their product looks like, it really doesn't show you what it holds. So I'm going to kind of do a product dump on mine. Um, the first thing it has out front here is a magnetic closed pocket, which is kind of great. I put my headphones for my strike indicator, hand warmers, lead shot. This thing has a magnetic strip that closes all the way across. It seals everything. You can put two normal size fly boxes or it'll even hold one of these big giant ones up front. My iPad will even fit in there. So, and, and still, I gotta push, there's crap in there still, but it'll close down and lock shut so you can way to not lose anything in the river. Um, yeah, I'll put this in here so I can show you. It seals up pretty tight. Let's get this other hand warmer out. See, it's locked in there. It won't come out. Okay, so it holds a lot in that front pocket. I don't know what, it's not waterproof. I haven't, I haven't gotten it soaking wet yet. I live here in the Pacific Northwest, so everything's wet here. In the top, on the inside, it's got a zippered pocket that goes all the way across. It's divided into two. In this half over here, I've got my leaders, my pre-purchased you know, ones. And on this side, I've got fly floatins and chapstick, Shimazaki dry shake. Got to have your tape measure. Um, insect repellent, that kind of stuff. And the inside of the pocket is kind of a soft velour, so Velcro will stick to it. So the fly patch they include here on the front that's got killer Velcro on it will stick on the inside too, or any other one. The inside, or Velcro the back of a fly box and stick it right there. But I usually don't use these foam pads to hold flies. I find if you stick them on top, you're jabbing your arm or something like that. All the time up here on the outside of the lid it's got a couple molly loops so you can loop stuff into it i have plans for those um and inside i got some junk in on this side over it gives you let's pull these fly boxes out so it's holding right now there's five normal size fly boxes two more wheatleys a small my little midges and stuff like that box. Some tippet material. And then up here, because we have weird weather, I always have my Sims polar fleece gloves, bandana, stocking cap. And then out of my cut bank bag, I stole this bag out. So out of the fish pond cut bank bag, they give you two of these zipper pockets that are pretty water resistant. And my iPhone 8 Plus won't fit in it, but my car keys will, those kind of things. Um, if I had a smaller phone, it would fit. Fish pond needs to make this bag a little bit bigger, larger. They could make it two inches taller and it'd fit great in the cut bank bag. It's got Velcro on the back or make this accordion out a little bit and it would be better but this fits great inside and attaches to that velour on the inside so on the inside on this front right here let me turn around so you can see it has a pocket that's got a velcro in the middle that holds it shut and then it kind of separates into two sections i keep another fly box these are they don't make this anymore orbis made this 25 30 years ago it's a Sherling, Sherling wool inside and I use it for like leeches and egg sucking leeches and minnows stuff like that just oddball size flies so that I like it because I could fold it up and throw it in my pocket but if you get it wet everything rusts in it so that's why nobody buys them anymore but then so it's got that pocket and you know you've got your folding knife. This is a, my little Benchmade Griptilian. And then 
flashlights, reading glasses, felt pens, stomach pump. This actually I use to, it's a tether. Anything I take in the river, if it's attached to the outside, it's tethered down. We'll do the outside in a second. This is what I use to attach my net to, so I don't lose a $150 net floating down the river. And on this side right here, this is something called a quick tie. Um, it's made in the USA. It's for threading your hook for us guys that are blind and can't see a size 20 eye. Actually, it'll work all the way up to a size 10 or 12, and they're like 10 bucks. I'll put a link to it. Um, it clips in your pocket. I have a half dozen of them because I was afraid that someday it would go out of business. I wouldn't have enough. I, it's a great Father's Day or you know, stocking stuffer gift kind of thing because us old guys, we can't see anything. Um, it also comes with these two removable dividers that are Velcro on one end, so you can kind of make better use of your space inside or take them out completely. Depends on how you want to manage it. Um, and then on the other side, it has a large single zipper pocket that I keep, you know, mountain money in, bug repellent, cigarette lighter, I live out here, sell so poison oak repellent or a cleaner. And this is a bug scene. So when you do a little kick test in the river, so you can kind of test that. Just things I carry all the time. Um, on the outside, on the back, it's got these little slots for inserting your net. Their nets fit perfect, a short handled Broden net or something like that doesn't really stay in there very good, but I have a long handled Broden net, so I'm not really ready to switch over to the fish pond carbon fiber nets yet. I kind of like prettier things. And then out here on the outside, on each end, it's got a pocket for water bottles on both ends. They're not big enough for your hydro flask, your 32 ounce hydro flask or 40. So you're gonna have to, I mean, it'll fit inside the opening. It's got a little, let me do this here. It's got a little retainer string so that the bottle will fit in the opening, but it won't stay. You can't get it to tighten down and stay in. And there's, it's no worse than be floating in the river fishing and watch your ball will go floating by or a fly box go by so I got to find a smaller hydro flask but there's room for two at least my coffee cup fits in the other side perfect so and it has a like I said it has that tension strap but I use my call the landing it's called the landing hand out here you know we steelhead fish or fish for bigger trout so you don't have to carry a net this thing so you can just reach down and tail the fish I have it tethered on one of those little key cords and then what else do I have in here oh out here tethered on the outside I have my Leatherman I don't like to have too much stuff on the outside because it when you're shooting line it kind of gets tangled and stuff so I keep most of my tools on the inside my nipper hook sharpener that kind of thing but overall I really like it. it's got down here on the bottom it's got some molly strap um, bases so that you can you know strap a jacket on or something like that up here on the front I mean, it's an illusion these look like molly strap slots but they're actually just decoration so don't count on those working but overall you know I give it a you know four and a half five out of eh, not a five out of five but four and a half for sure I really like it so far if it was a little more waterproof like the cut bank bag, I really like that. I'll do a review on that too. I really like that bag, but it's it's a boat bag. It's too big to be packing around on a river. But if I was changing anything on this bag, um, maybe I would have made it a little bit taller and make the water bottle pockets a little bit larger so it would fit these bottles that everybody uses so that you can you know, take more coffee. Um, this strap here on the back, it's a grip handle strap. I like it, but I think it's a little small for, for my hand anyway. It'll work, but it looks, I mean, it's well built. And I really like 
you know, when I bought it, I was a little gun shy about this magnetic pocket up front because I've had magnetic stuff like that and they pop open and your stuff flows down the river. This one, I'm not worried about that at all. So it's a really good job. I really like it's a good job. Fish Pond, it's, I was, this is my third purchase from them. Oh yeah, we gotta do the strap. On the strap, this goes over your shoulder. You know, they, on their video, they do a really good job of showing you how you can reverse it. So I'm not going to. When you learn how to put this thing on, let's see, I gotta do it properly. It is kind of a trick to put this thing on correctly. Otherwise you're putting it on upside down or backwards. Let me zip it shut here. Grab the top of the handle like this, the, where the buckle is up top, where your attachment to hold on your hemostats are. And I have one of their zingers here. Um, throw that over your head. That, yeah, see, I did it upside down there too, damn it. Um, let's see how to do it. It's tricky to do this. I put it on upside down all the time. And I'm not a retard. It goes this way, and then you can pull it around. I did it upside down again. Anyway, you you see how difficult it is to... There you go. I got it on right now. Okay? So I got it on that way. And then there's a strap that comes from the bottom of the bag. And we'll come around and... Nope, I got it on upside down again. I swear to God. How did I do this? Anyway, that is the only drawback I really see of this thing. Once you get it on, it's fine, but I'm, I get confused on which shoulder to throw it on to. Um, I can imagine after a couple beers being like, I'd be throwing it in the river. But anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Click like. If you got this far, you should click like. Thanks.